This is a four motor airplane that I've had in my fleet actually for quite some time, originally as a twin and now built with a new uh, arm and wing and four uh, 2830 1000 kV motors provided graciously by uh, Kevin aka Airman1958. Each of these 1000 kV motors is mounted to the underside of the wing using my standard metal motor mount technique, two-sided foam tape and a gift card Gorilla Glue to the underside of the wing and the propellers are 9 by 4 7 counter rotating on each wing so that they go down between the motors. This is something that I saw on the Airbus A400 military airlift, apparently it imparts some additional efficiency, the DBE down between engines, and of course it neutralizes torque roll, and the opposite wing has the same arrangement. The brake is enabled on these ESCs. The wingspan is 66 inches, so that's two 30 inch arm and wings with a six inch gap between the wings where the electronics are mounted under that hatch. The length is 55 inches. I've equipped it with very generous ailerons and they are on a rate gyro just for a little stabilization in the roll axis. And there are three position flaps, that's no flaps, uh, takeoff and full flaps at about 45 degrees. The nose wheel is steerable. I used an all-moving tail plane for the elevator which permits it to be a little bit smaller. I did it just mostly kind of to see how it would work out and it works out very well. The servo is mounted and linked like that. I gave it a very generous size vertical stabilizer on this version. The original one the vertical stabilizer was about 70% of the surface area and it was not stable and it did not have an active rudder whereas this one does, works quite well and the servo is simply buried right there in the vertical stabilizer which is two layers of foam board sort of cambered out at the base and then joining up together sandwiched at the top. I built in fairly large inboard flap notches to provide good airflow to the vertical and horizontal stabilizers even at high angles of attack. The struts are fiberglass uh, helicopter blades, 450 size, and this is a, a fiberglass uh, plastic landing gear that I heated up and flattened out to broaden the stance and just use ordinary foam wheels for that. And then the steerable nose wheel is uh, just some eighth inch music wire bent with the hardware and operating uh, stuff up in the nose here, accessible through that hole if necessary. Under this hatch are the three 2200 milliamp hour uh, batteries. I've got a bus for four of them, and the uh, external UBEC uh, is tapped off right here and is located up in the center of the wing. Uh, the satellite receiver for my spectrum receiver is located right there. I currently get about 12 minutes flight time on these three 2200 milliamp hour three cell batteries hooked up in parallel uh, using pretty aggressive throttle. Uh, maneuvering as you saw in the flight video and the rest of the electronics are under this lid right here which includes the Spectrum AR7000 receiver, uh, the gyro, all of the wire junctions for the four motors, the flaps, the ailerons, all meets up right under that lid. Here's the informal version history one, two, and three. Currently it is 2800 grams all up weight with the three 2200 milliamp hour batteries as you see. The empty weight is 2200 grams and the thrust was greater than my uh, scale would measure which is 2.2 kilograms so somewhere in the neighborhood of I would guess three kilograms of thrust. This nose was formed from Hobby Lobby foam board with the paper removed and simply by cutting out this profile here gluing it uh, at the nose here and then carving an upper and a lower section to match that then sanding it down gluing it taping it nicely and so what this plane needs now more than anything is a good name and please suggest some in the comments and I believe I'll put some experimental airlines livery on it and some additional windows right there for the passenger plane concept and keep flying and having fun.